Uh, you can see we still have some rain showers and some thunderstorm cells, mainly over the mountain areas, but we are starting to see some cells pick up here in LA County as well. So we'll go right to the Doppler radar and first off talk about that flash flood warning I mentioned earlier in the show. This is just north of Barstow. This will continue through 645. Uh, I zoomed out a little bit just to show you there are some sporadic uh, thunderstorm cells out there right now, but that was for a particular cell that was nearly stationary. And uh, so we saw a lot of rain in the same area. That particular cell has since died down, but some other cells are popping up at this hour. In fact, right now, uh, right around Chatsworth between Simi Valley and San Fernando, we do have a thunderstorm cell that has developed, and we are seeing some rain from that. And also uh, just to the south of Lake Elsinore, right along the 215, we are seeing uh, some heavy rain come down. Now, this is all from an area of low pressure, just like the one on Saturday. It's passing a little bit to our south. Uh, so the heavier rain is staying to our south, but enough instability with this low to produce those pop up thunderstorms. And then on the higher elevations, we are seeing the snow, of course. But as the day goes on and we get into the nighttime hours, everything will quiet down. So we still have partly to mostly cloudy skies around town, and we will continue to see that sort of pattern into tomorrow. But temperatures today, right where they should be this time of year. 50, 73 for the high, 72 is the normal high. Uh, we are into the low 70s in Van Nuys, mid 70s in Fullerton, 69 currently in Santa Ana. Temperatures into the low 70s in Ontario and mid 60s in San Bernardino. So this area of low pressure moving on through for Tuesday. The rest of this week, this ridge of high pressure is going to try to build in. Uh, so that's going to protect us from the latest storm system well to our north. But uh, since it's not completely over the area, we are still going to get an onshore flow. So what that means is we won't have the perfectly clear skies, especially along the coast. We will see the low clouds and fog uh, from that onshore flow. But again, that latest storm system will stay to our north. So for tonight, with the onshore flow, 